Hello there, welcome. I'm playing Katsu against Ko today. And we are not allowed to start, which is not the biggest problem. We can get some tempo on turn one, but usually you don't mind starting against Brutes, since more often than not they can't convert their whole hand. Now, we're just starting off with some graveyard fill here. Katsu in the early game really wants some bonds of ancestry targets in his graveyard so he can fuel his later combo turns. And we are able to do so threatening multiple breakpoints here. We are throwing two Kodachis after that and a Fluster Fist. So we, of, in any case, leak some damage and even present 10 damage in total here with three cards. Now, Ko already makes a third my token here. Usually when Brutes use their Bone Breakers, they have a Disruption effect in hand like Apex, oh sorry, like Sand Packing or Command and Conquer. Unfortunately for us, we're not really able to get that out of our, out of our hand now. So we'll see, maybe we can just block out the next turn completely. Or maybe we just do the other four, we'll see. Now this, okay, yeah. Um, unfortunately, 9 will be very awkward to block here with the second Art of War, so we might just take the 9 damage, lose our arsenal, come back with Searching Strike and Spinning Wheel Kick, and arsenal another Art of War. Alternatively, we can actually play that Art of War out, of, out here, if KO only blocks for 4. And then we might get a first, a first combo off. Um, also, Ko creates another my token, so keeping that out of four once again would be quite quite dangerous here. Nice, we even draw into a gust wave. So if there's no D react, which there usually isn't with Ko, we get the on hit now, banish gust wave with the whelming gust wave with our Katsu ability, and then come in for a full bonds combo. Every time you play against Brutes as a Katsu, you obviously need to be extremely careful about the Scowling Flashback. Um, in case of the hand we just had, there was not no real, real danger in them putting the Scowling out. We, in any case, could have just arsenaled a, a card that was left over. But whenever you want to keep a large hand and don't block, um, you need to make sure that the Scowling Flashback can't just completely time walk you meaning can't like end your turn on the spot if it hits the correct card now we draw into another very good hand here the only obsolete card might be be like water but it's only a two block anyways and still a good starter for probably our next turn Okay. Now, of course, we could put some cards in here to block, but really that would just be um, wasted, unfortunately, because we do need the Searching Strike to empower the Whelming Gust Wave, and we need the blue to fuel all of that, and as I said, be like water isn't good in blocking anyways, so we'll just keep that. Now, switching up whether um, you throw a Kardashi before your Searching Strike or afterwards is quite nice because sometimes you just your opponents catch on to it and you, you give them unnecessary information. Um, but in most cases, just keeping that resource open is quite nice because you threaten having an Art of War, for example, or even a Razor Reflex, so they might feel inclined to play around something like that. Also, what I'm noticing um, that Ko tends to block out our attacks exactly. He is not over blocking, at least those last two attacks. And also, he likes to invest his his equipment quite early on. So, yeah. Once again, now because yeah, he's kind of forced to give us a scowling flashback here if he doesn't want to let us have the draw. So that's 
looking very favorable for us. Now we are still in down in life and might even take that enlightened strike anyways, but our hand is very big and can put quite a bit of damage, especially with the flashback gone. So yeah, we go down to 11 with them on 23, but we're really sure to, to hit him back big here. Okay, so no blocks from him. Now, because be like water isn't in our hand, we kind of... We're kind of forced to play it. Um, and not play the Surging Strike. <clears throat> because if we're playing the Surging Strike, we have to pitch the Ancestral Harmony. And then have to... Uh, and then we don't have a, a zero cost target for our cards to trigger. And the way we played it just now means we get to keep an Art of War for the next turn, and we even have a Tunic counter up to empower that. Now seeing as though we drew a Surging Strike, we either get IP tier, meaning we won't be able to use a full hand, or we play out the Surging Strike, or we um, throw that Art of War now. And in hindsight, taking the Tunic counter and playing Art of War with draw 2 plus 1 would have been the correct call here. We very likely get at least the two Kodachis and maybe a, an attack for free go again out. And we also buff the the, um, the flat, no wait, the, the bonds we just threw. So we're getting a total of maybe 5. Or let's even say at least 5 damage out of this. And the way I'm just going to play it now is I'm just throwing Searching Strike Pitching out of War. Which means I get to keep the Tunic counter. But I'm threatening a little bit less damage. And now we're not only evening out. We are actually getting ahead in life total. But KO did keep to get did get get to keep his whole hand, and this suggests that he has a way to give him go again and actually convert it fully. We do have our equipment up here, and there was an argument to be made to actually crack the rider, Burris rider boots and mask of the pouncing lungs to threaten even more damage and force him to give us some cards. But the way we played it, we are staying open to. Probably get out a combo later on. Mm, okay. Okay, actually decides to play that differently. He probably wants to get out the blood rush. Okay. Oh, and well, that's a Skepskin's roll. I don't think that's necessary here. He can at least throw the claw and another attack, except maybe yes. Three reds in hand, but even then he wouldn't roll scabs, so no. There was the possibility of going for a claw and an attack here anyways. And in that case we would have blocked with our equipment. And we get to keep at least a free card hand um, here. Um, K wanted to take a risk though, and it did not pay off, so we get to keep our full hand. And 11 HP, and at that point the game is basically over for him. We don't need to connect with our attack actions even, because our Kodachis will eventually leak enough damage through. I'm gonna keep this as a starter for my next hand. Now he does hit the scab skins. Let's see. Okay, he can convert a savage feast, which can get kind of scary. 
but at long as long as he's not threatening 11 damage this turn or actually 12 because we do have armor block we are good to play a very big hand and keep him off of playing anything really against all brutes you want to get out of this or stay out of that 2 hp range because of reckless swing so make sure you stay on at least 3 hp Now that two to attack actually th needs to be answered with a full card, sort of. So you can take more Kodachis later on. We are at the same time still threatening having Ancestral Empowerment or Art of War, but KO decides he's not really in the position to play around this anymore. Now I decide to keep the Ancestral Harmony for our next turn here instead of instantly ripping it. Um, but KO makes a crucial mistake in not overblocking this um, attack, which I will now breaking scales, giving me the cards to trigger to search for bonds. And now he's definitely dead. Yes, because he's only able to block let's say three on the bonds, dropping down to one, and then he, whatever we take, he can't block it at all, and he just dies to that. So definitely not a perfect game from either side here. We still had our links up, which is definitely a mistake. We could and should have broken that earlier and made that game basically not even close. Uh, but fortunately for us, KO made the mistake to roll scabs in a situation where it wasn't necessary, and we got to play this game safely to the end if you want to see more katsu there's more on my channel and i'd appreciate you subscribe and see you later